the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus Christ. Pine Bluff, Arkansas. We come out here to preach the holy gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We come out here to call you to repentance today. It's time to get right with God. Tomorrow's not promise. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 that it's appointed up to man once to die and after that the judgment. That means one day all of us are going to stand before a holy God and give an account for the life we live. And when it's our time to go, it's our time to go. God is the one that gives and takes away. So we come out here in the love of God today, on this Monday evening, to warn you of the wrath to come. To persuade you to come into the kingdom of God. To compel you to get right with God before it's too late. 150,000 people died today. And most woke up in a place called hell. We know that Pine Bluff, Arkansas is named one of the most dangerous places to live in Arkansas. The crime rate Our population is up there in the top five in the United States. And the reason why this happens is because of sin. Men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. And the Bible says, everyone that doeth evil hates the light, neither comes to the light, lest their deeds be reproved. That means if you're doing evil, if you're doing sin, you hate Christ, who is the light of the world. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. If you're not born again, you hate God. If you're sinning, you hate God. I know you're not going to hear that on a Sunday morning from your local lukewarm pastor, but we're here to preach the full counsel of God. We're here to tell you the truth and love because we care about your souls. You want to see your city get changed? You want to see people come to repentance? You got to preach the full counsel of God. You can't sugarcoat the truth. You can't tickle the ears. You want to see the murderers stop and ponder up the drug sales, the prostitution, the gang banging, the drunkenness, the wickedness? It all starts with those that profess Christ. Those that profess Christ need to take a stand against sin. They need to put on the form of God and take a stand against the devil. And know that no weapon formed against God's children can prosper. That the angel of the Lord encamps around those that fear him. So we come out here with the love of God and the fullness of Christ to preach the truth to you, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, that if you do not repent, you will go to hell. And we don't want you to go to hell. We don't want you to die in your sins. God doesn't want you to die in your sins. That's why he sent some preachers out here today on this Monday evening on this street corner to tell you the truth, that Christ is the only way. Christ goes on to say it in John 14, 6. He says he's the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father except through him. And only through the blood of Jesus Christ and what he did for you and me on the cross can you be forgiven of your sin. But you must be willing to repent and turn away from your wickedness and put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says those that call upon him will be saved. But it also says that you must call upon his name in truth. The Lord is nigh unto those that call upon him, unto those that call upon him in truth. You have to call upon his name in truth. Come to the Lord with godly sorrow and mourn over your sins. Come to a place of brokenness. When you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, they're ready to get right with God. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 6 that today is the day of salvation. 
Do not receive the grace of God in vain. Our life is like a mist of vapor. Here today and gone tomorrow. We don't want you to lift up your eyes and hell fire like the rich man. We don't want you to have the pleasures of sin for a season and lift up your eyes in this place of torment. If Christ was able to save me, my brother, my sister, my wife, he can save you too. But it all starts with a place of humility. Confessing that you're a sinner in need of a Savior, Jesus Christ, he can set you free today. Jesus says in John chapter 8 that you should know the truth and the truth will set you free. Jesus wants to set you free from your addictions today. Jesus wants to break those chains of alcohol, drunkenness, of marijuana, of drugs, of pornography, of sex, of stealing, lying. He wants to deliver you today. The devil wants to keep you in bondage. The God of this world, Satan, has blinded eyes of those that will not believe the glorious gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Satan, the God of this world, has deceived many people on the broad path that leads to hellfire. He's deceived them through religion. He's deceived them through sin. He's deceived them through the lust of this world, the deceitfulness of riches. Satan has deceived many people, even those in the church. And we come out here, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, to ask you to examine yourselves. We come out here to call you to repentance, for the Bible says that God commands all men everywhere to repent. For he has set a day when he will judge the world in righteousness through the Lord Jesus Christ. We care not to tell you the truth. We don't care about the opinions of men. We don't care about the praises of man. We don't care about your money. We care about your soul. We want you to get right with God. We want you to repent and believe the gospel. We want you to put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. But you have to be willing to make that choice. The Bible says that God resists the proud, but he gives grace unto the humble. Jesus says, those that humble themselves shall be exalted, and those that exalt themselves shall be humbled. If he died today, where would you spend eternity? Heaven or hell, the choice is yours. Not many people want to think about death. Not many people want to think about this place called hell. But hell is a real place. It's a place where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth. It's a place where the worm does not die. It's a place where the fire is not quenched. It's a place of outer darkness where you'll be tormented forever and ever, where the smoke ascended up and up. And God doesn't want you to go to hell. His will is that no man shall perish but all to come to repentance. The Bible says in the book of Ezekiel that the Lord takes no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but he rather have the wicked turn from their ways and live, saith the Lord. Turn ye and live, saith the Lord. And we come out here in the love of God. We come out here to love our neighbor as ourselves to warn you people or the blood is on our hands. And it's the love of God inside of us that brings us out here to warn you of the wrath to come. To warn you that judgment is coming. To warn you that Christ is your only way out. It is your only hope. But you've got to be willing to put down the filth of this world. you got to be willing to put down the bottle of alcohol. Put down the marijuana. Stop having sex outside of marriage. Stop watching the pornography. Stop putting things before God, idolatry, and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was the perfect Lamb of God. 
the risen Savior of the world. Jesus Christ, the Word of God, became flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus Christ, our perfect example. And we're here to lift up his precious name today. The name above every name. The name that every knee shall bow to and every tongue will confess that he is Lord. We love you enough to tell you the truth, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. You have to get right with God. Turn away from the wickedness and turn to the Lord. We're pleading with you today. We're pleading with your souls. Tomorrow's not promised. We don't want you to go to hell. We want you to get right with the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus says you must be born again to see the kingdom of God. You can be born again today. You can be set free from your sin and saved from the damnation of hell. If you're willing to repent and put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Do not receive the grace of God in vain. Do not harden your hearts because of the sinfulness of sin. Call upon the name of Jesus Christ in truth before it's too late. Judgment is coming. Are you ready to meet that God? Judgment day is coming. Pine Bluff, Arkansas. It's time to repent. It's time to turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. It's time to turn from your wickedness and turn to the Lord God. We tell you the truth in love. We care about your soul. You must be born again to see the kingdom of God. Jesus makes it very clear in the third verse of the 13th chapter of Luke that you must repent or you will perish. You must repent or you will perish. Jesus says to go and sin no more twice in the book of John. God is not clean with sin. God has a holy hatred towards sin. He loves righteousness and he hates iniquity. God has a holy hatred towards sin. He can't separate the sin from the sinner. If you're a sinner, you're not saved. Christ came to set sinners free. Christ came not for the righteous, but to call sinners to repentance. We're calling you to repentance today, Pine Bluff, Arkansas. City of Pine Bluff, Arkansas, it's time to repent and get right with the Lord. It's time to repent. Pine Bluff, Arkansas, judgment day is coming. Jesus is coming back in vengeance and flaming fire on those that obey not God or believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's time to repent. Get right with the Lord. Judgment's coming. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. You must be born again to see the kingdom of God. Jesus is coming back. I said patrol sergeant, aren't they? It was honking at you? Yeah. yeah he was the they said it's sergeant, though, too. Hey, is your phone on here, man? Yeah, I think it's on.